Hi, friends, Facebook, YouTube, friend, family, whoever might be seeing this, whatever venue you might be using to see this recording. It's me, Travis, TJ, whatever you want to call me. Um, I'm really trying to get in the habit of doing this every day. I guess you call it a video journal. I don't know. I'm just going to sit and talk. And get things off my mind that I want to say. And I'm going to post it for future reference so I can go back and, you know, just look at myself and I can reevaluate some situations and see how I could or could not have handled that different or, you know, what anything, what have you. My day. Um, I'm planning on going I'm out of the country again, you know, um... Going to the Bahamas, you know. Really, I'm, I kind of ready to be back home because it's a lot of stress dealing with that. You know, going somewhere, have a lot of stuff to do. Have a birthday coming up, 9-28-2012. I'll be 28 years old. Thank God. It's a lot of people that didn't make it. It's a lot of people that did not make it. There are people that went to school with me that did not make it. There are people that I met along the way that did not make it. So I am blessed and extremely ecstatic to see the age of 28. God willing, I make it to the 28. Because, you know, it's not, you know, they used to say you're here today, gone tomorrow. But now you're here today and you're gone today. So you got to be thankful for every minute every second, every millisecond of time that we have here on earth because it, it can be gone at any drop of a dime. And you know, I always tell people, and I try to encourage my friends, and my family, and everyone around me to try to take the most opportunity of the time that you have. You know, it's something that I'm getting with age. You know, I, I realize now that I'm not invincible. You know, I hurt a little bit. It's hard for me to get up in the morning sometimes. I'm tired. I can't stay out all night anymore. You know, but at the same time, my mind is very much mature now. You know, there are things in my life that I want to get accomplished. And, you know, I try to encourage the people around me to do the same. You know, if you're going to be in a job, move up. If you're going to work at Burger King, move up. If you're going to, whatever you're going to do, move up. Make the most money you can while you can, while you're at that job. Even if you're not at the job that you intend to be in or the field that you intend to work in, don't limit yourself. Don't sell yourself short. Every job that I have, I'm trying to move up. It always more responsibility, Travis. So wait. I want more responsibility. The more more responsibility I have, the more opportunities I have to prove what I know. You know, um... I look at people, you know, you know, people I went to school with, you know, people I met along the years. I've been through a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff that I put myself in. But even with the circumstances and the things that I went to, I still overcame those things, and I still got myself together, and I still got myself on track. You know what I'm saying? It's never too late. It's never too. Let me tell you something. As long as you're living, it's never too late to start over. Every day that you wake up and there's breath in your body and your feet can touch the floor, that's a chance for you to start over. There are many opportunities in life where you should have been, could have been dead, but God saw fit to keep you here. If God sees fit to keep you here, there's something that out there that you should be doing. There's some goal that you should be trying to accomplish. There's somebody that you should be helping. There's something that you're here for. There's nobody here on earth that is purposeless. Purposeless. There's nobody here that's purposeless. We as people, we have to figure out what it is that we're supposed to be doing in life. And we have to choose if we want to go that route or if we want to fight the grain. You know what I'm saying? So, as soon as you figure out, you know, what it is that you're supposed to be doing, the better. I didn't find out early in life, you know. It's a lot of stuff that I know now that I wish I knew then. And some things I wish I would change. But, the blessing of it all is that I'm still here. And I still have another 
day. So, you know, I just want to put that out there for people, you know, that's giving up on life. Don't ever give up on life. If God didn't give up on life, don't you give up on life. You know, I, I count all my friends as a blessing. I love them all. All my good, good, close friends. You know, not that about these fly-by club people that I see sometimes. I'm talking about my good, good, good friends. And they know who they are, my good friends. You know, we talk, people I talk to, basically. If I don't talk to you on the phone, we're probably not friends. If we don't text, we're probably not friends. You know, if I don't ever call you, we're probably not friends. Social climbers, that's another thing. We'll talk about that another time. But social climbers, I hate you. You make me see. Throw a ah. Social climbers, stay away. You know what I'm saying? It's so something. It gets on my nerves. You know, I won't say that I'm well-known. Um, because I try not to be on purpose, but I will say that I know a lot of people. So over the years, people have tried to go through me to meet people. I'm a fan of networking. I'm, I'm very much a fan of networking. Networking is how businesses grow. It's how, it's how things get done. I network, but you have to network with a purpose. You don't network to get in bed with people. You don't network to, you know, certain things just don't network for. And I don't have time for it. You know, you don't network to get a man or you don't network to get a woman. You network for knowledge. You network for understanding. You network for business connections. You network for that type thing. Some things you silly I'm going to say, you silly queens are networking for? It's not necessary. Stop it. Stop it. Go get your job. Go do something constructive with your life, okay? Take it from a legend. <laughs> Take it from a legend. The things will be much better for you as soon as you get your life on track. Surround yourself with positive people and your life will become positive. Take that from me. Once you change your surroundings... Your mentality would change. Anybody that's anybody that's ever taken any psychology class knows that there's a direct link between nature and nurture. There's a direct link between your genetics and your environment. They go hand in hand. There are certain things in your environment that will bring out things in your genetics. There are certain things in your genetics that make you lean towards a certain environment. You have to find the specific balance between the two so that you're where you need to be. I'm going to wrap it up because I have to go pack and wash clothes and all kind of stuff. Pray for me as I travel. I hope I'm not one of those people that end up on a carnival cruise ship in the middle of the ocean, you know, with no water and stuff. But pray for me as I pray for you. Once again, rest in peace, Jaquez Hamilton. Oh, my God. I cannot believe that you're gone. Rest in peace, Brandon White. Oh, my God. I cannot believe that you're gone. You like my best, 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 best friend. You know, but after you lose your mother, things don't bother you like they used to bother you. I know that's for me. I can't speak for everybody. I'm only one person. My opinion is my opinion and nothing more. So, don't quote me on that. Don't leave me nasty messages or text my phone and say, you shouldn't have said that. It's only my opinion. People have those. Why people, I, That's another thing. That's another topic I'm going to talk about. Why are people so offended at other people's opinions? I could give a rat's... Excuse my... <laughs> what I want to say. Excuse my Swahili. I could give a rat's ass what somebody think about me. You know what I'm saying? I... I take it as a compliment that you even think to think about me, to even comment on me or who I am or what I do. Some things I do for a reaction. Some things I, sometimes I get a reaction for the things that I do. You never know what I'm doing. I'm smart. Probably smarter than you. But you guys, you have a great night. 
you know, going to your weekend safe. In your weekend safe. And I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. Bye.